Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Reillusion, hosted by iClone 3D. I'm Trista Ross and in today's tutorial we're going to look at how we can actually create a motion loop. So for example if we've got a character running across the screen I'm going to show you how we can actually make that motion loop in place so it just runs on the spot. So it's really really important to have the flexibility to be able to chain them together so you can make any length that you want in your timeline. So if we just come over here to our clip and we play this back you'll see we've got a character here and when we play it, he's actually running across the screen. Now the camera's currently following him so doesn't look like he's running, but if I play it from here, you'll see he actually is running across the screen. So I'm gonna show you how we can actually loop this motion and loop it in place. Um, I've done it earlier, so I'll just show you what I mean, but if I play this clip back after I reset the pivot, you can see the characters looped in place. So it looks really cool, and it just gives you a lot of flexibility over how you use the motion. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in this scene. We're just gonna, go across the timeline and you can see the character is moving across the screen. So we're going to loop this in place by using the edit reach target. We're going to select the waist and we're going to create a dummy. This is just going to create a box for you that's going to serve as your dummy prop in the scene. And then what we're going to do is very simply, we're just going to select the character. And if we play it back now, you'll see that it really is kind of off. And we're just going to turn off the rotation and you'll see it has some effects, but we're not quite there yet and we do just need to do one more little step to achieve the goal we're looking for. And all we're gonna do to do this is we're just gonna turn off the TZ here. And if we uncheck this box, you'll see that we're gonna get the results that we're looking for. So now we've got the motion looped in place and you know it looks really cool. And we can also actually turn that off by just unchecking the TY button here. And that will then allow the motion to play and go across the screen. And you can then reactivate it by turning back the TY option on just by clicking this checkbox here and then you can see the motion loops in place. So it's really simple to do. Uh, we'll just release that and if we play it back, you'll see now the character runs across the screen. So, you know, really is easy to do and just to kind of summarize, all we're doing is selecting the hip bone, selecting the target, we're creating a dummy and that dummy is going to serve what the kind of body is attached to and that will then you know run in position so it really is that simple to do really hope this tutorial helps and really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial